From a satisfying up-close video of lava pouring into the ocean, to the interesting moment a can of ravioli was swallowed whole during an eruption in Hawaii, here are five of the most incredible lava flows ever caught on camera. The Hawaiian Islands are known for their beautiful beaches and excellent surf. However, if you find yourself swimming near Mount Kilauea, aka the most active volcano on Hawaii's largest island, you might find yourself in hot water, literally. One swimmer got up close and personal with one of Mount Kilauea's many vents. They kept the camera rolling as lava poured into the ocean and were thankfully wise enough not to touch it, as tempting as it may have been. The man who took this video may have been in more danger than he realized at the time. One strong wave could easily have sent him headfirst into the molten lava, not to mention the water itself. Where it falls in can get as hot as 165 degrees, a bit warmer than your average hot tub. Kilauea rose above sea level about 100,000 years ago though experts believe the volcano itself is over 250,000 years old. It's technically a shield volcano, meaning it keeps a low physical profile, resembling an old-school warrior shield lying on the ground. These volcanoes form from constant streams of thin lava pouring along the sides. When it cools, it creates another layer. On the outskirts, you can find Kilauea lava pouring out into the ocean, as seen in this video. Imagine you're enjoying a calm day in your backyard in Hawaii when, all of a sudden, the ground starts to shake. Then, lava pours over your fence like an intrusive neighbor, incinerating everything in its path. This was the reality for residents of Leilani Estates on Hawaii's Big Island when Mount Kilauea erupted violently in May of 2018. Never underestimate the destructive power of lava. The 2,000-degree Earth sludge can and will destroy everything in its path. Leilani residents learned that lesson the hard way as they watched magma devour their homes, gardens, and everything in between. Hopefully, they all had volcano insurance. It's so sad. It's so amazing. Thankfully, the lava flow was slow enough that everybody could evacuate their homes in time. However, these homeowners figured they'd enjoy the cathartic show. After all, they could have been stuck inside that house. Lava burned away what looked like one third of their home. We imagine that, hours after this video was filmed, very little of that house or neighboring houses remained. The homeowners moved to the backyard to say goodbye to their macadamia nut trees while getting a better view of the encroaching lava. According to the United States Geological Survey, lava flow speed depends on a few factors. More fluid flow can move up to 6 miles per hour on steep slopes, which sounds slow but is terrifying at scale. 
Meanwhile, viscous or thick flows are much slower. Clearly, the lava in this video is the viscous type. So what happened on that day in 2018? Earthquakes opened fissures near Mount Pu'u'o'o, one of Kilauea's main vents that has been technically erupting since 1983. Lava then spilled out of the fissures and incinerated at least 26 homes in the area. Unfortunately, volcano insurance doesn't actually exist. In fact, many insurers won't touch these areas with a 10-foot pole. Hopefully, these homeowners knew the risks when they moved to Leilani Estates. Now here's a question you probably thought you'd never hear. What do Chef Boyardee and Anakin Skywalker have in common? Neither stands a chance when it comes to molten hot lava. The lava we're watching in this video is once again pouring from Mount Kilauea in Hawaii. To see what would happen, a Hawaiian photographer put a can of Chef Boyardee in the path of oozing lava. The superheated rock basically eats the can of ravioli like some sort of alien blob creature. This video proves how powerful lava truly is. So powerful that corporate America can't even stop it. The photographer's name is Brian Lowry. He's a Hawaiian-based photographer who's dedicated his career to lava since 1991. In the mid-2010s, Brian started recording videos like this one. He calls it science, but he's probably just having fun. For this experiment, Brian filmed as the lava encompassed the can, making quick work of the paper wrapping. But the can looks like it's keeping its shape before disappearing behind a wave of lava. How can that be? In the United States, most food cans are made of steel, a metal with a melting point between 2,500 and 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Lava doesn't actually get that hot, with the lava from Kilauea topping out at around 2,000 degrees. It's fair to say that if Brian attached a steel chain to the can and yanked it out, it would still be intact, albeit very hot. Thanks to Brian, we now have two ways of cooking Chef Boyardee. We can either microwave it on high for 90 seconds as the can suggests, or put it in lava. If you're in a rush and stuck on the side of an erupting volcano, the lava might be your best bet. Outside of the summer, there's always a good chance of snow in Iceland. The same is true for the area surrounding the Krišuvik volcano system. Of course, once lava starts pouring down the side, that snow quickly turns to steam. While some were busy filming lava tornadoes in April of 2021, other Icelanders wondered what was happening to the snow-capped areas surrounding Fagradalsfjall. Obviously, the fight between lava and snow yields the same winner every time. Still, there's something very satisfying about the crackle of lava meets ice.
At the start of the video, we can see a steady flow of lava pouring out of a vent in the back. It's scary to think how fast that lava is actually moving. It could easily creep up on you if you're not paying attention. The ice and snow aren't so lucky, as molten hot volcanic rock unfolds, instantly melting whatever it touches. The brave cameraman in this video is Jakob Wegervors, who spent 14 hours on locations getting close-up footage of the lava flow. Keeping his distance was Jakob's top priority. As the lava rolled on, the area around it got hotter and hotter. According to Jakob, this was the hottest lava in Icelandic history, reaching almost 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, scientists believe the lava was coming from an unusually deep place beneath the surface, upwards of 20 kilometers deep. While volcanoes leave us with more questions than answers, we know one thing for sure. Icelandic snow doesn't stand a chance against 2,000 degree lava. According to ancient legend, there was once a time when a brutal war broke out among tribes of Vikings in Norway. One tribe fled and settled on a faraway island. Afraid that the other Vikings would follow, they said the island was covered in ice and a greener, more inhabitable island existed to the south. However, the legend never mentions anything about the volcano on the southwest side of, you guessed it, Iceland. While that story is left to legend, the Krishuvik volcano system is very, very real. I apologize for butchering the Icelandic language, but its largest volcano, Trotladingia, is a shield volcano that's almost 5,000 feet above sea level. In February of 2021, seismic activity beneath the Fagradalsfjat volcano put the experts on edge. As fissures opened and lava flowed, eager people flocked from all over Iceland to see. Although, they didn't expect to see lava tornadoes rising up from the hot magma. Icelanders watched as a narrow river of lava flowed from an erupting vent in the volcano. Then, out of nowhere, small pockets of lava started spinning like a cyclone. Don't worry, lava tornadoes don't actually exist. What we're seeing here is a small dust devil forming over the lava river. It picks up magma as it spins, making it look like a lava tornado. As the camera pans over the erupting vent, we see the dust devil moving like a ghost in the background. The Fagradalsfjat eruption was the longest Iceland had experienced in over 50 years. According to experts, the Reykjanes Peninsula hadn't experienced any lava flow in 800 years. Then, in March of 2021, the volcano erupted, spewing lava for six months. Clearly, erupting volcanoes are a spectacle for the people of Iceland. We wonder if their Viking ancestors were just as impressed. Well, that about wraps things up for this video. But if you enjoyed it and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.